give a fuck what anybody else thinks about it. How's it going everyone? This is Daniel, always keeping it raw and real and I just wanted to keep busy and I just got my second shot and I'm already feeling it, feeling like shit, just a little, you know, got a headache and everything, I'm sweating, I'm thirsty as hell, but I just wanted to keep busy and if you guys saw my thumbnail, this is going to be a raw and real figure review, discussion and opinion for the Playmates giant 11 inch mecha godzilla from the film godzilla vs kong 2021 and just to start off these figures are getting harder and harder to find and i had already bought two of these and i wasn't planning on making a review but i said oh, you know what fuck it i'll do the review and just to start off for the price for playmates this is a decent looking mecha godzilla figure and 11 inch figure overall i mean the hands the feet it's kind of hard for me to set up my computer table and everything with a camera because there's so much limited space and I'm not really used to doing 11 inch or 12 inch figure reviews pretty much and now just to start off the face looks good the hands for some reason this figure has a really loose kind of left hand and the right hand is stiff of course just I just you know just barely took it out of the box and it's got these plastic shoulder uh, pads and it looks pretty decent to me the hands spin and close which is cool that's always a plus and yeah I mean it's it's real stiff I just took it out of the box and it looks really cool don't try if people already have it do not try to bend the knees because you will break this thing I mean I thought there was a chance to be able to move the knees at the knee joint but no don't try it I, I mean I almost broke it so don't do that and I'm gonna turn it around you guys can already see the feet are pretty pretty decent like I said it's a $20 figure so it looks good the legs pretty on point with the film and don't expect much out of playmates like I said before in my other reviews the rib cage, the chassis, I don't know what these are. I think they're the rocket boosters or their missile launchers. And he does have protective covering over his legs at the hip. The spines are on the inside all red and they're just painted on the outside silver uh, steel color. And the tail was unbelievably easy to put on. And it's the tail is, man, I think this tail is... I, I like it it's cool you know it even has the rotating blade at the end i mean it doesn't open up you know that sucks but it looks cool overall i do like it the head and like all the other playmates 11 inch giant figures the jaw does not move the head does not move don't even try it and yeah overall it looks it looks really good the design on the inner part of the rib cage the chassis looks good I mean, I really like it, and I will post pictures on here so everybody gets a better aspect and view of the figure. And I dig it, man. It's it's decent for twenty bucks. I mean, well, I got it for twenty bucks, and people are just being stupid and scalpers and price gougers are really upping these prices, even on Amazon, everywhere, Amazon, eBay, even on Walmart.com, they have sellers, pro sellers, supposedly selling this figure for. I mean up to eighty dollars and I mean it's just it's crazy but for the price the original price which is twenty dollars well, I paid twenty one ninety four I think and it looks great I mean our people who already know that um I stopped collecting I retired from collecting and I bought this one a while back when it came out and I bought two of them so I just totally just it just you know flew over my head I totally forgot I was gonna do a review on it and I said yeah I might as well just do one and it looks good, I mean, overall. And just another look, it looks great. The legs, the feet, the hands are a plus because they open and close, which is cool. The face looks good. The head, do not try to bend the knees because you will break this thing. 
and for a, a child's toy it's really really cool and if i was just saying if people want to touch it up and you know repaint it if they buy more than one you can do that too make it give it more of a metallic kind of look i mean that's just you know an idea coming from me and you know i won't do it because i'm just i don't have the patience for it but i do enjoy the fact that i do have one and i have two of them and yeah i mean i i really do like it for the fact that it's playmates and it's twenty dollars and it's i mean it's not like the sh monster arts came out and it's just it just sucks man because i i go to a point where i stop collecting and then they release the sh monster arts version of mecha godzilla which is fucking phenomenal and i i just yeah i'm done i mean it looks so good and that one's gonna be pricey that one's gonna be more than the kong or the godzilla sh monster arts figures that are coming out also and yeah, but besides that, G Freaks and Sci Fi Fanatics, there's my quick raw and real review, opinion, and discussion on the new Mecha Godzilla Playmates 11 inch giant figure. And yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's decent, it's basic, and it's good for display. Well, for me, in my opinion. And there you have it. Uh, if you guys can try to get this for the original price on walmart because that's how i found it i had to go to a store across where i live the last time just to pick this up a month ago when i ordered it and they were supposed to deliver it to me but they couldn't so i had to pick it up so i had to go pick it up from halfway across town from where i live and it was worth it and i have two now got a display and i got one inbox so i'm happy with that so i hope you guys have a good day. This is Daniel, the Sci-Fi Century. Always keeping it raw and real. Feeling like shit because of that damn second shot. But you guys have a good one and I'm out.